Hey, Troyview, Hallie Hurley, social worker at Wilson here. Um, just Dan, I know Dan uses a lot of illustrations, so I thought maybe I could do the same. So this is my personal protective equipment that uh, the hospital staff use here when seeing COVID patients. Um, I have my gloves on, got my gown on, have my N95 on, have my mask on. So this is what we would wear when we would go into COVID rooms and see COVID patients. And just how difficult it can be because when you go into a COVID room, you try to spend as much time with the patient as you could because there for a while we could not, they could not have any visitors. So no family, no nothing. So here we are as staff, touching through gloves, trying to communicate through this mask. They can't read books, you know, hard for us struggling to breathe because you want to spend as much time with them as you can because knowing that no one else is going to be there. So this is what our patients see when they are at their most vulnerable state and their most sickest. And what we look like trying to comfort them through masks, gloves, um, and trying to trying to be compassionate, you know, during this very stressful time. So when we're at the bedside, I've prayed with patients, I've laughed with patients, staff and I have held patients' hands as they passed. So this is what I do. I'm a social worker at a hospital. And so spring of 2020, when COVID came, you know, you saw on the news how bad it was, but at Wilson, we didn't have hardly any patients. We weren't seeing the COVID that everyone was seeing in April and May. We were seeing nurses being called off of work because we didn't have any patients. They weren't getting paychecks. If they wanted money, they had to use their own vacation time to fill their paycheck. So summer was long and slow. And then probably around November is when we started to get our COVID hit. You kept, they kept talking about the curve and all that. That's when we got hit and we were full and maxed and um, it was just so busy and so sad. Um, no visitors, you know, um, it, it was like the hospital was a, was a ghost with, with no family, you know, people coming in. Um, people are sick and in these isolation rooms and here we come in the staff with gowns masks shields this PPE this big long tube coming around wrapped around you I mean you, you look so weird and then the, these patients if they're sick enough they may be confused and it's like what are these people doing to me you just feel so bad for them you know and, um It was just sad. <laughs> For the staff, you know, um, everything was closed. Like the cafeteria was closed. You couldn't go and sit and eat in the cafeteria. Like, so you couldn't even get away. You'd be working your shift on the floor. And even to go get lunch, you couldn't get away. And then even in the break room, you know, you had to be six feet from people. Well, you don't have a huge break room to begin with, you know, so even to think that you're going to get off the floor and take a break just for 30 minutes, that wasn't, you know, everybody was busy helping everybody else and who or what helped me during COVID was, um, talking to my coworkers, talking to, um, my cousin every morning on our little Marco Polo chats, really not saying a whole lot, just kind of crabbing about the weather or how busy it was going to be or if I was even going to get lunch today. <laughs> Hoping maybe she'd feel sorry for me and bring me lunch, <laughs> but she never did. <laughs> um, lots and lots of prayer and lots and lots of prayer with the patients. 
um, um, lots of Caleb. <laughs> you know, I'd be coming home just singing the song and just crying. It was very emotionally draining watching all the sickness and people dying and husband and wives dying um, just hours apart. Um, just being worried that I'm going to bring this home to my mom. What if I get it? Um, what if I get make Dave sick? You know, he had just finished his treatments at the end of 2019 and you know his immune system was weak and um, I feel that since COVID I feel like I'm more more worried about stuff that maybe I shouldn't be worried about um, but I know that God is with me um, and I just hold on to that. <laughs> just when things look their darkness, a light shines in us, or a light shines in showing hope. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. <laughs> oh, crap, I wasn't even recording. The whole, just Are you kidding? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to start by asking me questions or what? What do you want me to do? Do you, do I do an introduction? Do I say hello? How do we get this thing going? <laughs> say, hi, my name is Haley. <laughs>